In a coastal region of South Carolina, the chilling double homicide of two members of a prominent legal dynasty now under investigation from the state's law enforcement division, which is offering few details. 52-year-old Maggie Murdoch and her 22-year-old son Paul were found outside their home, both shot multiple times, according to the coroner. They were discovered by husband and father Alec Murdoch on their rural property 10 days ago. Alec called 911, according to police, but the call has not been made public. The murder sending shockwaves through the local community where generations of the Murdoch family have worked as well-known lawyers and prosecutors tied to countless legal cases in the South Carolina low country. In a statement, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division says it's committed to conducting a professional and thorough criminal investigation. But the agency has not held any press briefing since the killings. The governor recently saying law enforcement is working around the clock. It is a, a tragic, tragic situation. The Murdoch family is well known and respected, and this is, uh, this is just tragic, starting with the, uh, the, the boat accident. The boat accident involved Paul Murdoch in 2019, who was set to face trial for his role in that crash that led to the death of 19-year-old Mallory Beach. She was thrown from the boat, her body discovered a week later. Prosecutors say Paul was driving the boat while intoxicated when it slammed into a piling, though he pleaded not guilty to several charges. And in another tragedy for the prominent family, Patriarch Randolph Murdoch died just days ago at his residence at the age of 81. And Sam, you were talking about the family's prominence, but just give us a sense of how much influence they've had in the legal community there. Yeah, we know, Hoda, that the Murdoch community has held the top prosecutorial position in the 14th Circuit of South Carolina for years. But according to a Hilton Head newspaper, the funeral program for Randolph Murdoch says it was 87 consecutive years and three generations of Murdochs. Enough time, guys, to put thousands of people behind bars. That is according to the state newspaper, and it's in addition to a high-profile family practice as well. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.